హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు నరేష టెక్నాలజీస్ మై నేమ్ ఈస్ రహమ్ సో టుడే ఐఎమ్ హియర్ టు డిస్కస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఇంజనీర్ నో మ్యాటర్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అ డెవలపర్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అ టెస్టర్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ డెవాప్స్ ఇంజనీర్ ఆర్ సమ్ ఎనీ అదర్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ ఎ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఇంజనీర్ మీన్స్ లైక్ యూ నీడ్ టు హ్యావ్ ఎ బేసిక్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ హౌ ద సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు వర్క్ and what are the stages we are going to have in our software development life cycle for example if we take like as a human we are going to have some life cycle infant stage adult stage and like later we are going to have some old age stage so this is the how life cycle is going to happen with every human same concept is going to apply for software as well when you are working with any kind of software this software must need to have one life cycle so today here i am to discuss about the life cycle so in the life cycle the very first stage is to have the plan whenever you are going to work on a application or software you need to plan how you are going to construct that one let's take our building like if you are planning to construct your home definitely you need to have some architecture there here also in this plan you are going to define the architectures like it might be 3 tier 2 tier 1 tier or n tier so everything you are going to discuss on the planning stage once the planning stage is done you are going for the coding in the place you are going to write your code you might write your java code or python or any node like we have n number of javascript like node js react angular anything you can write depend upon your application requirement so planning is done coding is done after the building building is the stage when you have written your code and you need to add some of the dependencies that is your libraries and everything so you are going to build it and finally everything is done from the developing end you are going to give it to the tester it is called as stage number 4 in the stage number 4 what you are going to do is test the applications like how the application is going to run on different kind of scenarios you are going to test it on the phase 4 so one more time i am repeating planning coding building and testing so these are some four stages you are going to have on one life cycle dev life cycle coming to the second part is operational task where you are going to involve in certain areas like to deploy on ec2 instance or if you want to deploy on some docker containers so you are going to do that on some particular area so after that testing is done we are going to do for the deployment and deployment i have said just now we can use ec2 instance or docker anywhere you are going to make your application available so finally you are going to have the stage number 6 is called as your operation okay so operation means like simply you can configure your instances and you can make the software install and you can make it up and running on your dedicated environments it might be dev environment test environment production environment for every environment you need to configure it definitely and finally you are going to do the monitoring once your application is deployed on any of the server we need to check how the application is going to work on different kind of stages so this is the sdlc you need to know i know listening this is a bit tricky for you i know it is definitely bit tricky but i am here to make it easy for you for example when you try to remember this planning coding building test deploy operate monitor this seven these seven totally steps are together called as sdlc software development life cycle sir uh, you are saying this easily you have some knowledge on it so you are saying easily but as a fresher or some a non experienced guy how can i able to remember okay i will tell you a single thing for you so we all know like the people who are watching this video might seen cricket at least once in their life time so as a indian we have one favorite opponent that is called as pakistan pakistan have a cricket board called pcb so remember this pakistan has a cricket board called pcb and after that one more thing in our favorite uh, cartoons tom and jerry is one of the cartoon and recently we have a movie on it as well so take it as pakistan pcb and tom and jerry tyo okay so my hero is definitely tom on it so i have taken pcb pakistan cricket board and tom remember these two points 
if you remember these two points, SDLC is done. You might wonder, sir, what is the difference between software development life cycle, Pakistan cricket and Tom and Jerry? Is it any point of sense you are talking about? It's definitely have a point. For example, look on the screen that I am showing now. P for Pakistan. P, C, B and T, O, M. For example, if Pakistan cricket board has a director called Tom, it is called as SDLC. Trust me, your SDLC is done. That's it. So, you can ask me, sir, what is Tom here? What is the Pakistan cricket board here? And what is the director here means? So, listen now carefully. P for plan, C for code, B for build, T for test, D for deploy, O for operation and M for monitor. So, now I think it is clear for you, right? It is the way how you going to remember. Guys, in a concept of learning, you have two things. One is hard working. Second one is smart working. As a trainer, I would like to recommend to every of my students not to work hard, work smart. If you're trying to learn this by heart, SDLC, it will take a lot of time to understand. But if you learn like this simple concept, which I have explained now, it will be very easy for you. So what are you waiting for? I'm here to tell the subject in very easy manner. So I would like to enroll everyone to this course. We are providing the details below the description. So we'll meet you all on the next class very soon. Thank you.